Hello everyone, and welcome to the first ever Kirby Dream Display. I'm Savvy, a fellow Kirby fan and content creator, and I will be your host for today. It's safe to say that Kirby has played a very crucial role in all of us' lives, so it's wonderful to see how many people celebrate this series by creating content on it. And that's the reason why we created the Kirby Dream Display. We sincerely hope that you will find something of interest today regarding the franchise. So without further ado, why not start by looking at some sneak peeks of videos that the community is currently working on. Ayo, hey, what's poppin'? Pekachow here, your local Kirby fan and lot hunting enthusiast. And you might know me from that one big Kirby iceberg video, you know the one that's almost like 5 hours long. If you know me at all. But anyways, I'm here to make an announcement. I love Kirby's Dream Land 3 and 64. I've been reminiscing a lot on some good old nostalgic classic Kirby games. These two are easily the best classic Kirby games in my opinion. Two of my personal favorite Kirby games ever. And I just want to give them both huge reviews. Just absolutely massive. Go over everything in these games. But wait, it's kind of weird to just talk about everything else in the Dark Matters saga, but not Dream Land 2. Uh, it's definitely a video game. Yeah, Dream Land 2 will be getting the same treatment in my... Kirby Dark Matter Trilogy Retrospective Series, a three-part series where I go over the ins and outs of all three of the Dark Matter Trilogy games directed by Shinichi Shimomura and go over why they're so great, and in Dream on 2's case, why, uh, it's complicated. My passion for all three of these games, even Dream One 2, even if it's a different kind of passion than with Dream One 3 and 64, is really what's going to fuel this whole thing, because I really want to talk about all these games, 64 especially, I love that game so much. My favorite Kirby game of them all, definitely. Just thinking about making a huge video on it makes me giddy, but uh, we gotta get through Dream One 2 first and explain why that's the weakest mainline entry. I don't have all day here, but my Dream One 2 video, I'll be getting a little meaner than usual to this game because, well, it's kind of asking for it. And it should be up on my channel uh, next month at some point, at least that's when I'm hoping to get it out. And you won't need to wait too long for the other parts either, I'm hoping to have this thing all done in 2023, just give me some time. But I am planning some other little projects in between, like you never quite know when I'm just gonna rank every Kirby subgame, or you never know when I'm gonna talk about why Kirby Squeak Squad is an underrated gem in the Kirby series, because it is. Kirby Squeak Squad is great and you know it. You see this huge Kirby collection? Just watch, I'm gonna make a video covering all this stuff in January. This is my massive Kirby collection. I'm gonna self-promo as hard as I want. This is Kirby's dream display, and I'm running out of time. Get hyped for the big projects. Check out my YouTube and Twitter, they should be around here somewhere. Pekka Chow, out! Don't you think that promoting our own podcast in my presentation is just a little bit overkill? Nah. If you say so. Also, where's Texas? They always show up late when we eat. I don't know, they're probably busy. HELP ME! The Fountain of Dreams podcast is an unhinged, fun podcast where three homies talk about Kirby. It has everything you would want from a podcast. A fountain, dreams, Second Degree Murder, Wholesome Moments, and more! Each episode is filled with stupid jokes and lengthy discussions about the series we love. And all these cool people on screen are in the project too! We're on YouTube and also Spotify. Wanna break from the ads? Episodes 1 or 2 are already out, so check them out if you can. Bye! -bye. Want a place for all things Kirby lore? Well, do I have the place for you? Welcome to the Sting of Scorpion C31. In my channel, I talk about all things about the marvelous and shocking world of the Kirby series, and I'm just starting a new series that will go in depth on the stories and characteristics of many of the weird inhabitants of Dreamland and beyond. You'd be surprised to discover how twisted and complex this lore can get at times, so I hope that you can join me on my journey to uncover all the truths of this series. Welcome, friend! This is Kirby's Dreamcast, the only Kirby podcast for the last 10 years until recently. It can be found on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are found, minus Spotify at the moment. The YouTube version also has visuals if you'd like to actively listen. We cover everything Kirby, so we're talking the anime, we're talking the manga, the games, the light novels, all the merchandise, so many plushies, so many books, so many everything. There is so much to talk about when it comes to Kirby, and it's a wonderful time. With the Kirby right back at you anime, we're up to episode 47 there. In that one, I talk about the episode, just go through the whole thing, talk about what's fun about them, differences between the English and Japanese versions, interesting stuff like that, and it's a pretty fun series to go through. For the gaming episodes, I'm going through them in release order, so starting with Kirby's Dreamland, and we're up to Kirby Superstar right now. And in those, I go over everything. I go over the staff, I go over the history of Howl between each game, I go over the making of, any interviews I can find, advertising, the sales, 
everything and then talking about the game as a story. So Magic Kirby Superstar just talking about all that as a story. Pretty fun to do, I think. Of course, talking about lore and lore implications, and after that, ranking it among all the games we've gone through so far, and I'm curious to see where it'll be when we're all done. For the manga and light novel, we're working on translations for those before we work on those, but the first light novel episode will be coming out in the next couple months, and I'm excited for that for sure. There's also episodes for newer games like Hype, First Impressions, Reviews, things like that, and other kind of episodes like I'm going to rank all of Kirby Superstar's OST, and that's going to be awesome, and I'm excited for other ideas coming down the line. So come give a listen and talk to me about Kirby, because I love talking about Kirby. It's fun, and that's why I made the podcast. And I think that's everything I have to say besides Happy Birthday, Kirby! wondering or new from my channel, this trailer is a celebration for one of my past videos that will be a year old, and there is the ultimate boss rush, a Kirby fan movie featuring Kirby and Aline. Is that how you pronounce her name? The idea came out when I realized the video was long and maybe repetitive, so I decided to make a shorter version. I remembered the pain of waiting my laptop active for around 3 days just to merge all of the footage together. <laughs> Well, that was me when I had a big laptop, but here I am with a newest and better laptop. It feels like a blessing as an editor, I tell you. Moving on, the real date will be around late April, and yes, that is when the original came out. That is all I can say, so uh, I will see you there in the premiere, maybe? Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Glitch, here to provide an update on Game & Lore. An up-and-coming series that aims to cover various game reviews and lore discussions, in honor of Return to Dreamland Deluxe and the 31st anniversary of the Kirby franchise, the fan favorite Magalore will make his debut act. as the first of many Kirby related lore videos coming to the channel. You can find coverage of the suspicious sorcerer, including a deep dive into his role in the light novels, on my channel in the official Magalore's Bagalore Game and Lore episode. Expect to see the glistening fruits of our labor and research in the near future. There's so much in store here at Game and Lore. Those were a lot of announcements, eh? Another big part of the Kirby franchise is the music that has accompanied some of the locations and moments that are now considered iconic within the community. So it's expected to see some people wanting to recreate some of their favorite tracks. So we hope you all enjoy these following music related announcements. Before we move on, I'd like to specify that each and every one of the credits will be featured down in a link in the description that features every link for the people involved in all the projects shown today.
talk about bangers. Next up are some trailers made for mods and fan games. Please take a look.
Kirby Fighters 2 Community Edition.
We hope you enjoy the fan games and mods shown. The expressiveness in the series we all know and love has been included also in these following submissions, which are all animated. Guys, look! <laughs> Okay. Hey, I'm bored. Do you want to play Uno or something? I do not have Uno. I apologize, Your Majesty. Everyone has Uno, Meta Knight. It came free with your f***ing Xbox. Well, I didn't get it. it must be because I have the oldest Xbox known to man. No, you don't. I bought mine on day one, you f***. Well, mine didn't have You it. have Uno, you f***ing I don't have it, your man. You have Uno! 
I don't have Uno, mother. I'm telling you, I don't have any of this. I don't have three, mother. I don't have eight, four, eight. I don't have seven. They don't even try it. Stop it. Whereas most projects in the community today are meant to be sneak peeks at serious long-time passion projects, we've also received many submissions that are way more silly and bizarre. We're sure that the following trailers will manage to get a smile out of you all. Hey guys, it's me Meteor, the 99% retired Kirby lore enthusiast. I admit, while I won't be making content anywhere near as often as before, I can't honestly see myself leaving this platform completely. Just don't ask or expect anything specific from me. You may be wondering, what could I talk about in such a short time slot? I already made a video cramming all the Kirby lore into one minute. How about shipping? People love shipping Kirby with all sorts of characters. Choo Choo, Ribbon, Bandana D, or even this character from a game about five people played. What though is the most canon ship? The answer may surprise you. Kumazaki recently answered this in an interview on Polygon. In it, he states that Kirby is a neutral character, and the emotions he displays on screen are really the players, or something. He continues though, With that said, if within this story there's a sequence where the player might feel like they're falling in love with someone, then I don't think it's impossible to have Kirby's eyes turn into hearts, or maybe Kirby is blushing. Uh, I only remember Kirby blushing for one character, and considering her age, I sure hope we're not supposed to feel like we're falling in love with her. Seriously though, I guess this means there really isn't a canon ship. Well, except for his love for food. YET! Kirby Ribbon Forever! You can sink my ship, baby! Person. If I'm gonna be the king, I need to be the strongest. Bring it, kid. Oh, right in the gordos. What do you want, Greg? Is it daylight savings already? I thought this was a kid's movie! Come on, Mayonnaise, get to fight Nova and save the world! No, you gotta save the world. I need to train to defeat you. Give me one good reason why I can go to space with you. I'm pretty sure space has a hot topic. We write a ton! Oh, come on! Mr. Rod's for 
defeating evil only. Trust me, there's some DD demonic funk going on under here. <laughs> Hot topic, here we come. Can I come too, pretty please? Sure, sure, be the man, like it first. Hydro City. I think you mean Hydrocity. You were abandoned at birth. Both of you, shut up! That pink guy is traveling all across space and time to summon Nova. That's Steelers' wish! He's traveling across space and time? I guess you could call that Kirby's adventure. Sectonia's never coming back. Give me the cake. No. And over the cake. No. Run him over. See, I'm brooding. This is a movie trailer. I don't get any pause screen text. Hold on. You're not canon. He may not be real, but I'm part of the lore. Are you sure we can trust Marks? He looks a little... Won't say it. A little... No, please, please, no. Sus. Welcome to Dreamland High, a lovely institution of drama, joy, and a chance at true love. Spend time getting to know several of our most charming students, and maybe even learn a little about yourself. Have you found yourself in a wild fantasy, or is this all just too hot to handle? Dreamland High in Kirby Star Lovers, coming soon. Me? Ripple Queen? Uh, well, fellas, uh, while me and Mr. Duke of No have a quick chit-chat, take a look at some of these wonderful pieces of art that we were submitted. Duke of No, you little piece of shit! Those were all of the announcements that we had to show today. We really hope that you'll find something of interest. The Kirby Dream Display was created to show all the wonderful projects from this community, and I'm so proud that this presentation came to be. And that wouldn't have been possible if it wasn't for all of you people watching the video and participating by submitting your projects. From the bottom of my heart, and everybody in the Dream Display team, thank you for joining us today on the Kirby Dream Display. With all of that out of the way. Perhaps, dear viewer, you might have been around long enough to have heard of certain medleys across the land. An amulet of great power emerged from the shadows and gave birth to even greater nightmares. Then the ethereal butterfly cast its judgment on the world. 
Some say the spark has long since gone out, but I, dear viewer, would say that was only the beginning of the chaos. And here we are! And here we are! And here we are! Welcome well, visitors! Automatic language detection. And those were all the announcements that we have to show today. For real this time. Uh, I cannot describe how insane this entire project has been to make, create, organize, host, edit, and it wouldn't have been possible without all of you's help, and most importantly, without Kirby. So thank you Hal, thank you Nintendo, thank you to all the talented developers, the community, the musicians, the editors, everyone who participated today, and most importantly, happy anniversary Kirby.